Hi guys, so just a very short video. I'm in Portumna, County Galway. And this is the old abbey. And it's a beautiful building. And there's a part of the wall. There's a little tiny hole in it. And I've just put the torch in. And you won't believe it, but we have two coffins inside it. And I'll clip that into the video now in a second. There's quite old headstones here as well. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And we've on the wall there 1768. Owen oh, Nelly, who departed this life, 1768, aged 81. The Abbey is beautiful. Eighteen hundreds on that one. Luke Burke and his wife is there as well. I think that's Mary. Mary died in eighteen oh five. Hang on, see if I can get inside now and bring you along. So this one is for Annabel Palmer, wife of John Palmer Esquire, who died at Fairy Hill, County Galway, the 12th of September, 1816, aged 45. Also the memory of her daughter, Annabel, who died at St. Cruz House, County Tipperary, 1845, aged 35. And San Palmer Esquire. Of Palmerstown House, County Galway, 1st of September Monument was raised by Thomas Shiggins for his parents. Um, the sixteen eighty eight here and here. Pray for them. There's Mary Shiggins there. And maybe Valentine Shiggins. So there's the date. 1688. So it's quite busy here. But I believe that there then is where the coffins are. And I'll put up that clip to show you. 1855 there. And John Cunningham here, 1864. That's a really nice monument. And there's Margaret Maria there as well. And she was only 20. And there's something here on the ground as well. 1681. Who departed. Uh, day or far, 1681. So this is inside the Abbey. And you can see some tombs here, 1790. Timothy, 
1787. Look at that window. There's some lovely designs on these ones. And that one is lovely as well. Under 1688 on this. Clarence. And up here we 1688. Pray for the souls of um, Brazil Madden of Greg. 1688. Under 1688 there. So you'd have to forgive the the noise. It's very busy. So we're just walking through here, and there's another little area. And we see here. 1610 and the rain is now coming down we will walk out through that now look at that And you can imagine the, the stories from long ago and what went on here. And that's back out to where we were. And we were already in there. There's something in that. It just seems to be a number though. amount of work it took to build this. We come through here, look at those archways. We see that number there again. come through this doorway and that must have been a fireplace possibly one there as well and it just brings you out and around see that little entrance there Back through here. And that looks like it was a fireplace as well. And it's obviously been fixed up, I'd imagine.
detail on that window. And the area it's in is a little small wooden, wooded area. Seventeen eighty nine there. Margaret Stoolan, wife of William. She was a good, beautiful and wise. The joy of her husband. Isn't that lovely? That one you can't read unfortunately. We have a few older ones over around as well. But um they're just too hard to read. We've the moss completely taken over some of them. Seventeen seventy nine, age seventy. Burke, I see Burke there. And Patrick maybe down at the bottom. But we've seventeen seventy nine there. Age seventy. Another one here. Lovely designs on this one as well. Um, I'm not sure you can pick up the design on that with it. The skull there. I see a Richard there actually now. And I think that's 17. Ninety-nine, maybe age sixty-nine. I'm just going to bring you back in to that beautiful area. But I, it's so worth just stopping here as my I'm wake, making my way back to Wexford. And another wet day. So guys, that's it. I'll talk to you soon and God bless. And I suppose this will be the last one from County Galway. Portumna Abbey is a medieval Cistercian and later Dominican friary founded in 1254. The Cistercian foundation declined and was replaced with a Dominican friary in 1426. Portumna was dissolved around 1582 and granted to Ulic Burke, third Earl of Clan Rickard. Re-established in 1640 with Ambrose O'Madden, the first prior. Richard O'Madden was prior in 1691 when the friars were forced to flee after the Battle of Ogram. The Dominicans were formally expelled in 1698 when Anthony MacHugo was prior. Some remained and by the early 18th century they reoccupied the priory. MacHugo died there the 24th of July 1711. Part of the monastery was used as a Church of Ireland church in 1631. The first Earl of Lucan married Honora Burke here on the 9th of January 1689 in the midst of the War of the Two Kings.